Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I'm going to do here is um, solve this absolute value inequality. Okay, so this is an absolute value. Let me see this right here, absolute value symbols. Okay, and it's an inequality. So this is an absolute value inequality. And um, this is going to kind of rely on your skills to solve basic inequalities, linear inequalities, uh, specifically compound inequalities if you want to get a little more technical. But uh, the one thing I find with uh, students when they're studying absolute value is they, they kind of mess up the procedure for solving absolute value inequalities with absolute value equations. They confuse them. Okay, uh, So don't do that. Uh, this is actually pretty, pretty easy, not too difficult. But uh, let's go ahead and walk this example and I think it's going to uh, definitely help you out. All right. So what's the first thing you want to do when you're solving an absolute value inequality? Okay. Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to isolate the absolute value part. Okay. You want to get this all by itself. So you're going to take whatever steps necessary to do that. In this case, to get that all by itself, that component, um, absolute value of x minus 3, I need to divide 2 by both sides of the inequality here. Okay. Just like if you were solving an equation, same, basically same idea. So that's going to give us x minus 3, absolute value of x minus 3 is less than 8. All right. Now once you get it, once you get your inequality, your absolute value inequality to this, to this point, we have the absolute value uh, symbol or expression on one side of the equation, then what you need to do is set up a compound inequality. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. And the procedure to do that is you're going to take this number here, Okay, whatever value this is, it's 8. You're going to write that right here. Okay, so we're going to write an 8 there. And then you're going to write the opposite of that over here. So that's going to be a negative 8. All right, so this is going to be negative 8. And this is going to be a positive 8. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do is take this inequality symbol. All right, so this is less than. You're going to put that here. And you're going to put this here, right? Let's put the same symbol right there. Okay, so it's less than and less than. So you see this kind of procedure what I'm doing? I took this um, less than 8, I plugged it right here, and I took negative less than 8. Okay, so this is going to be the same for all these problems. Now, the last part is you're going to take whatever is inside of the absolute value symbol. Okay, this x minus 3, you're going to plop it right there. Okay, so x minus 3. So when everything's all said and done with all the colors, it's going to look like this, negative 8 is less than x minus 3 is less than a positive 8. Okay? All right, so let me just do that again one more time real quick. I'm not going to do it with all the colors. Just want to make sure you understand that. Okay? Understand this is a really important step. So I have absolute value of x minus 3 is less than 8. So I'm going to write a negative 8 here. Okay, I'm keeping the same inequality symbol. x minus 3, I'm taking it whatever's inside my inequality. Uh, absolute value symbols and pl um, plug in them right here, less than positive 8. Okay, at this point, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and solve this inequality. This is a compound inequality. So I'm going to add 3 to everything. And I get, let's see here, negative 8 plus 3. I'm going to be careful with my positive negative numbers. This is going to be negative 5 is less than x is less than, let's see here, 11. Okay, so this would be your solution, and probably your teacher would want to see that in terms of a graph. So let's go ahead and just draw that real quick. So here's negative 5, here is 11. I have a circle and a circle and a line that connects the two. Okay, that means that all these numbers between negative 5 and 11 are the solutions. Okay, so this is a compound inequality. All right, and then notice here I did not fill in these circles. All right, so um, hopefully this video helps you out. Okay, if you're studying absolute value inequalities, it definitely should help you out. But if you need more help, please come over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. Uh, I've got tons of free videos, tutorials, all designed to make math easy to learn. Okay, so good luck and take care.